good morning afternoon and evening welcome to today's webinar on the importance of user types in the streaming platform success my name is shivashish and i will be your host for this insightful session today now before we get started let me give you a quick overview of movie established in 2011 and headquartered in the us Movie was founded with a vision to disrupt the global streaming market. Movie offers diverse range of streaming products that cater to the businesses of all sizes and types. Whether you are a small business or a large enterprise, our scalable and flexible streaming portfolio can adapt to meet any streaming requirement. From a comprehensive OTT platform to fast channels, from on-demand streaming to live streaming, from audio streaming to video streaming and from deploying websites to apps for mobile and tv ecosystems across 16 plus platforms movie has a solution for all your streaming needs that can be accomplished with just a few clicks without the need for any coding knowledge our flagship product movie one has been rated as the number one ott platform on g2 a trusted software review platform Additionally, our live streaming product Movie Live was honored as the best live streaming product of 2022 by the readers of the Streaming Media Magazine. So whether you are a content creator, a media company or a business venturing into the streaming space, our goal is to empower you with the tools and expertise needed to thrive in this competitive industry. If you are interested in learning more about Movie and how our streaming solutions can benefit your business, please don't hesitate to reach out to us now coming back to the topic for today in today's digital age streaming platforms have become an integral part of our lives whether we are binge watching our favorite tv shows exploring the latest movies or discovering new music streaming platforms have revolutionized how we consume entertainment content however with the increasing competition in the streaming industry it has become more important than ever to understand the significance of different user types and their impact on the platform's success so what are why are users types so crucial for the success of streaming platforms to answer this question i would like to invite karthikeyan who is a product manager at movie karthikeyan completed his graduation in electronics and communication engineering and works in movie as a product manager by handling four different pods in addition to ott platforms he has experience in managing data governance and sustainable energy management products during free time he loves reading crime fiction also so welcome to the webinar karthikeyan and over to you and before we get started uh, this is for all our viewers you can keep posting your questions in the q and a box and karthikeyan will answer all of them uh, towards the end of this presentation So over to you, Karthik. Thank you, Shivashis, for the intro, and uh, that's quite engaging. Hello, hi. Uh, since you got a brief intro from Shivashis, I think we can straight away dive into the presentation. Again, in this presentation, I will take you through the different type of uses in the OTT platform and the best best monetization strategy you can uh, set for them. So let's get started. so the agenda would be like uh, uh we will be covering the different types of user in the streaming platform and uh, focusing on the monetization strategy followed by the different models uh in the ott platform that you can set and will be the conclusion okay so uh, though we have clusters of user type in the ott platform they can be closely grouped into four types and they are free users subscribers ppv and the premium users so let's catch up on by them on in detail okay so who are free users are these users who basically will get the complete free access to the content without any payment one best example is the youtube and such user users will have the limited features in the platform and mostly the ads will be included in their viewing experience okay so how can you set the monetization for such free user category the first will be the advertising which is a primary revenue source for many streaming platforms by serving ads to free users you can generate income uh, based on ad impressions or clicks 
considering implementation different ad formats uh, such as uh, roll ads uh, mid roll ads or uh, the banner ads on the platform's interface however it's essential to find the right balance so that ads don't become overly intrusive or uh, negatively impacting the user ex- experience so next will be the sponsorships and brand integration where you need to collaborate with the brands and integrating sponsor sponsored content within the platform this can include product placement brand content or partnership with advertisers who align with your platform's audience these collaboration can provide a source of revenue while maintaining a seamless viewing experience for the free users and next comes the freemium model where uh, a certain premium content or features are accessible only to paid subscribers uh, this approach allows free users to enjoy a basic level of uh, content while enticing them to upgrade to a paid subscription for additional benefits just make sure uh, carefully i mean you are carefully uh, curating the free content to provide value and also engaging the user uh thereby encouraging them to consider the benefits of a premium subscription and uh, another option is to offer a limited time access to the premium content or features or even a free trial period uh, during which free trial users can experience full benefits of your platform and uh, it will be it is kind of creating a hope that they will be more likely to convert into a paying customer subs- paying cus- subscribers once the free trial period ends and uh, finally would be the data monetization so depending on your platform's privacy policy or and the user content consent you may explore monetizing user data in a privacy conscious manner so uh, this will involve an anonymous anonymized data analysis and insight generation uh, that can be valuable to the your advertisers or content creators for target targeted advertising or uh, content recommendation so next user type would be subscribers who have opted for a subscription plan offered by the uh, specific streaming platform so they pay a recurring fee uh, mostly it will be monthly or it could be annually to access the premium content additional fee i mean in addition to the premium content they will get also the additional features and an ad free experience so rarely subscribers may have access to the exclusive shows movies or live events so one live example could be netflix amazon hotstar etc okay so how can you set the right strategy for the subscribers as a first strategy you consider offering a different subscription tiers with a varying price points and benefits each tier can provide subscribers with a different level of access features and perks one example is uh, maybe a basic tier can offer standard video quality and access to limited content library while a premium tier could provide more high video quality offline downloads and exclusive content mostly this tiered approach allows subscribers to choose the level of service that best suits their needs and budget next uh, just create just you need to create exclusive content that is available only to the subscribers this can include original shows movies uh, documentaries or live events that are not accessible for the free users uh, so by offering unique and uh, compelling content it that encourages the user to subscribe to access these exclusive offerings also you need to collaborate with the uh, uh, popular creators or a production companies to produce premium content that matches specifically to your subscriber interest as a next thing you can provide our subscribers with early access to new releases so uh, by allowing them to watch our stream content before even it becomes available for the free users so the things like offering sneak peeks behind the scenes footage or exclusive trailers for upcoming releases can create a sense of anticipation and a value for the subscribers so next uh, you can uh, just ensure the subscribers are enjoying an ad free experience as part of the subscription because uh, this is one of the primary benefits of subscribing and uh, 
can significantly enhance the viewing experience one example is netflix uh, don't publish the ads for their subscribers subscribers but uh, uh, to my knowledge uh, maybe sometime at least sometime before hotstar uh, used to publish ad for their users even though they are the paid subscribers which actually annoys them so next would be the partnership on cross promotion uh, where you need to collaborate with the uh, other brands or services to offer exclusive discounts promotions are bundled subscriptions partnering with uh, complementary services such as uh, music streaming platforms or uh, news publications or uh, fitness apps can provide an added value to the subscribers and increase the customer loyalty example uh, if i'm purchasing a subscription in netflix and getting an offer for a shopify platform at least for a 3 months this will make me to quite engaged with the platform service and offer uh, in the future so the final strategy would be uh, feedback and personalization so you just need to engage with the subscribers and seek their feedback to understand their preference better use this fee- feedback uh, to tailor the content recommendation suggest personalized playlist or uh, you can create a curated collection based on their interest so by delivering a personalized experience you can enhance subscriber satisfaction and also the retention okay so next are the paper paper view users so generally uh, ppv users are those who pay a one time fee to access specific content that is not included in the subscription package uh this types of users uh mostly this is a platform for special events such as uh, live sport matches concerts or exclusive premieres okay so how can you set the uh strategy for such ppv users so first is uh, exclusive and high demand content which is one of the best strategy to cover the ppv users you can offer a ppv users to access exclusive content that is not available through regular subscriptions or even for the free access this can include a special event um, live sport matches stand up comedy shows or uh, premieres of highly anticipated movies so you just you just need to focus on the content that has the high demand and appeals to a specific audience creating a sense of urgency for the ppv users so next uh, you just need to implement effective marketing and promotional campaigns just to generate the buzz and attract the ppv users so mostly you can utilize uh, the various channels such as social media uh, email marketing influence influencers or uh, targeted advertisements in order to reach the potential viewers so uh, even if you are using those uh, channels you just need to highlight the unique aspect and the value of ppv content emphasizing why it's a worth paying for and next would be the tired praising so as like uh, for subscribers you need to have a tired praising plan for ppv users as well so just consider offering a um, content to accommodate different budgets and viewer preferences uh, for example you can provide a different pricing option based on the quality of the stream like uh, Uh, sd versus high definition access duration maybe 24 hours versus 48 hours or a bundled packages for multiple events so basically this allows users to select the option that best suits their needs uh next would be having the limited availability so basically this is through this way uh, it creates a sense of urgency on a ppv content for a limited time Uh, promote the fact that content will only be available for a specific window um, which will mostly encouraging encourage the viewers to take an action and make purchase before even it it expires so next would be the easy payment process so uh, streamline the payment process especially for the ppv users just to ensure the seamless experience uh, you can provide a multiple payment options such as credit debit cards digital wallets or payment gateways uh, in order to accommodate user preferences also make payment process user friendly and uh, secure in order to build trust and encourage more purchases in the future also
So as a final strategy for the PPV user, handle the you need to handle the post event engagement. So consider this strategy to maintain a connection with the PPV users. So this can include providing access to the replays or highlights of the events behind the scenes content or exclusive interviews with the participants. So keep the conversation going to foster a sense of community so that it would encourage the future PPV purchase as well. So basically this is to ensure you are not losing the PPV users after the one time purchase. Okay. So last but not least is our the premium users. Um, not all but at least some of the streaming platforms offer a tiered system where the subscriber can choose to upgrade to a premium plan. Premium users enjoy additional benefits such as higher video quality, um, early access to the new release, offline downloads or access to exclusive features which are not available for the PPV or the subscribers. Okay. Again, if you plan to set some monetization strategy for the premium users, these points would be helpful. First would be the enhanced content library. So to the premium users, you can offer uh, access to expand the content library that includes exclusive shows, movies, documentaries, or early, process, early releases. This exclusive content should be highly desirable and uh, even not available for the free or regular subscribers. Continue, uh, you just need to continuous, uh, continuously update the premium library uh, to keep the users engaged and uh, thereby providing an ongoing value. Okay, so next would be uh, providing a premium users with the uh, option to stream the content in a high quality format such as 4K Ultra HD or HDR high in a high dynamic range. So enhanced video quality can enhance the viewing experience and uh, just and it will also justify the premium subscription price. So as a next, you just need, uh, you can allow the premium users to download the content for offline viewing on their mobile devices or even the uh, PCs. So this feature is especially beneficial for users uh, who used to travel or have limited internet access. Offline downloads provide convenience and flexibility, flexibility thereby making the premium subscription more appealing. Uh, personally, I am expecting at least uh, Netflix should bring this soon or later for their users under a, a premium plan. Okay. So next would be personalization and customization. Um, you can offer a premium users yeah, personalized recommendations, uh, most over like a Netflix, uh, where they are also offering a curated playlist. And uh, another option you can uh, provide is the, to create a, their own custom playlist. Uh, tailor the streaming experience to their preferences, ensuring they receiving they are receiving content suggestions that align with their interest. And uh, again, next would be the VIP support and the customer service. So you can provide a premium users with a dedicated customer support and faster response times. So basically premium users should receive priority treatment when it comes to addressing their queries, concerns, or even any technical issues. This personalized support reinforces the value of their premium subscription and enhances their overall experience. And uh, finally, you can offer the premium users to exclusive discounts on merchandise, events, or partner services. So you can collaborate with brands or events to provide special promotions or early access to tickets, like for concerts, festivals, or even uh, relevant events. So this may foster a sense of loyalty and appreciation among the premium users. Okay, so so far we have seen the different types of users and the best uh, monetization strategy we can create. Next, I'll cover the trending OTT models and the key benefits. Uh, basically, if you have plan to start your own streaming platform or to incorporate different models, I believe this would help you. So first would be um, AVOD. It's uh, advertising based on video on demand. Video on demand. So here you will have a consistent group of customers uh, which directly contribute, contributes to the subscription improvement. Uh, 
so it means at least uh, after a particular uh, period of time these free users there are higher chances where these free users can be get converted into a subscribers okay so um through avod you can uh, post the ad by which you can benefits of the monetization strategy so as a next comes the svod where most of the current ott platforms such as netflix amazon um, hotstar so on etc are living on so this model gives you the steady income and uh, uh, until you get quite engaging until you have quite engaging content library so as i mentioned earlier in this svod platform mostly we will be having the subscribers uh who will be paying the recurring fee in a monthly or annual basis and moreover they will be looking for quite engaging content uh ngg content so if you keep them engaged through the updated content library then yeah for sure you will be getting a steady income through this model okay as a next it will be the ppv model so which is the best one for the seasonal contents uh one example would be ipl where uh, geo or even before hotstar used to get more number of user for the particular season and uh, finally it's a hybrid model and uh, it is best and only if you have the vast content library so it means uh, example well, let's take an um, amazon prime so they have uh, svod and ppv model so you can see for few contents you can access through the normal subscription model and uh, few contents where you can access through the ppv model so by incorporating such hybrid model in your streaming platform you will be able to cover uh, at least quite a, a large number of users where they are looking for a different variety of models i mean um, o- uh, the content models okay so it's a conclusion and at least post covid um, i personally believe the ott industry has seen its best user counts which could keep on increasing in the future as well as a quick states quick statistics it's believed that uh, at least by 2027 we will be seeing around 4.2 billion ott users um, irrespective of your level whether you are a beginner or in a mid scale or plan to expand market always has your advertising deals example with spot ads or google ads which would help you to b- build the revenue system so if you have the plan you just need to get started that's it okay so uh, you can the mostly the advice could be like you can just begin with a small step so even instead of bringing all the models together you can just start with a small step that by uh, content providers uh, if you are a content provider you can just start with the one monetization model that just meets a business and in future or in a agile manner you can start including the other models as well and the final uh, point like uh, point is like you need to have a system that is capable of accepting the rapid changes in this ott market in order to deliver the seamless user experience so basically you need to run along with the users latest expectation so that you'll be able to um uh, you'll be you'll be able to uh live stable in this ott industry okay so i hope this session brings you some clarity on different user types and the best monetization strategy you can offer for them so here comes the q and a session where i would love to answer your queries uh thank you karthik and it was very informative presentation and i'm sure our audience is excited to ask a lot of questions to you now before we move on to the q and a i would request the audience to take a minute to answer our quick poll which should be visible on your screen now if you can't see the poll you can click on the poll icon at the bottom of your screen and the questions will appear so coming back to the q and a uh we have uh, the first question comes kartikeyan wherein our user wants to know that within user types uh, do you see a difference between short term subscribers and long term subscribers or binge watchers 
and users who watch short burst like watching 20 minutes uh, at a single time do you optimize certain ux ui features for these different users okay so to answer to this yeah um we optim we can optimize certain ui ux features for these different types of users so uh again to answer the question from the starting it will be uh, two different types of subscribers one is the uh, short term subscribers uh, who mostly uh, subscribe for watching the specific uh, content specific theme of contents and the long term subscribers would be like they trust on the platform like uh, they will uh, in the hope that the platform will provide the uh, engaging contents so that they can uh, have the subscription at least for quite long period of time so uh how we can do this uh one is we can make the short term subscriber to a long term subscribers again pro- through the vast content library keeping the users engaged with the uh, uh new contents that uh, by collaborating with the different production companies or the content creators uh, so and the second question is users who watch in the short burst okay so to the specific users who sh- watch in the short burst maybe we can accommodate um, the functionality like we can uh, give the trailers or the previews so that uh, the user will be quite engaged and uh, uh, we can ensure that uh, the user will be watching the content at least a particular period of time so yeah we can optimize through some ui ux features for in order to accommodate such type of users uh thank you karthikian i hope uh, this answers the question the next question comes from stephen uh, he wants to know that what kind of content grouping do you see uh, as a rescuer in the platforms for your clients grouped around content type like series and films is clear but is there any other insights that you wish to tell them uh Okay can you repeat the question again So the question is what kind of content grouping do you see as a rescuer in the platforms for your clients grouped around content type like a series or films is clear but is there any other type of content grouping that you would like to Okay uh, Okay so um uh, on the content grouping uh we can group the content based on the themes uh one example like uh, horror uh action thriller and comedy so we have different kind of themes and we can group the contents in a such a way so other than that uh in the recent times i don't find any other uh, insights where we can group the contents in a different way okay uh i hope this answers your question stephen i have another question coming from donna she says that how do we find the people uh, to promote their ads on their platform okay um so you need to basically collaborate with the uh, ones who wish to sell their products again even before that you need to do the anal- data monetization analysis so uh, as i mentioned based on your privacy and terms of your ott platform you can anonymously uh, do the analysis and you can uh, collaborate with the ones who wish to sell their products and even in the content promoters so that uh, uh, they'll be able to find the relevant audience where they can place their uh, ads to sell their relevant products or their contents so through this uh you'll be able to find the people who wish to promote their ads i hope this answers your question donna so uh karthik and stephen has another question for us uh he wants to know that do you see a big difference between the west and the east for monitoring models like you showed the svod was 75% in the us does the east market also want svod or rather any other model according to you okay um yeah i showed like uh, 75% in the us 
is uh, mostly under the SVOD. But again, the SVOD is becoming more trendy uh, nowadays. Uh, so one example could be Netflix. So they are trying to pull the users as much as possible into their platform uh, through this SVOD model. So again, uh, you can take an another example of Amazon Prime and so and so. So currently the status is on the US, I mean, in the uh, West. But again, this SVOD model is uh, uh, much familiar in the other areas. But the only thing is, uh, we need to find a, uh, the platforms, the OTT platforms need to find the right strategy to fit such uh, models in their models so that they can cover across their regions. Okay, thank you. I hope this answers your question, Stephen. Uh, we have one question coming up from Sara. She wants to know that what are the best practices for optimizing the user experience on OTT platforms from intuitive navigation to personalized recommendations? Okay. So uh, in this, uh, uh, you can have the content acquisition, uh, content delivery. Uh, okay. I think I lost you. Can you hear? Uh, uh, yeah, say? sure. I'll just repeat the question. Okay. Again. So Sara wants to know that what are the best practices for optimizing the user experience on OTT platforms from intuitive navigation to personalized recommendations? Okay. So first is the clear navigation menus. So irrespective of the content you are providing in your OTT platform, you need to have a clear navigation menus so that uh, it, it should be easy for the users to move from one. Uh, uh, move from different place inside your uh, OTT platform. Next is the consistency in the design elements across the devices. So even though user is using the mobile or uh, tablet or uh, PC, they should feel the consistency in the design elements and uh, there should not be any glitch or destructive elements between the devices. And uh, next one will be the seamless content discovery. So basically it's a content recommendation. So based on their interest, uh, the you, uh, as a platform, it should be able to recommend the continuous con con contents continuously so that it will keep the users engaged. And uh, next would be offline viewing and download options. Again, they should be at least uh, having a option for the offline viewing and download, experience, uh, download options. One example is the premium model. So at least through that you should be offering such options so that uh, it will be it will make the basically it will make the user's life easy even though if they wish to watch the content offline and next would be the continuous testing and improvement so you cannot stick to the same model or a same strategy uh, for a long period of time so you need to continuously test and improve the new things in an agile manner so that you'll be able to understand your users and uh, their interests. So next would be user feedback and support. So you as a OTT platform uh, provider, you should always love to hear your uh, users feedback. And uh, at least uh, for a while, you need to accommodate the features uh, which you feel like that needs to be part of your platform through the feedback. And again, one main thing is the support. So um, if I'm uh, and as a user, if I'm purchasing a plan in your OTT platform, if there are any issues, for sure, I'll expect for a support. So you should have a support service that really solves the end user's problem in a quick manner. So at least through this, uh, I, at least I feel these are the best practices for optimizing the user experience on any OTT platform. Uh, thank you, Karthikin. I hope this answers your question, Sara. So, uh, Karthikin, I have uh, Donna asked you a question. Who do we? F how do we find the people to promote their ads on our platform? So, uh, maybe she was not able to understand the answer. So, if you can repeat that answer to her. Okay. Fine. Um, so, how you can? Uh, find the people to promote their ads. So uh, mostly I would suggest you to use the social media and uh, email marketing. So 
uh, you can just reach out to the um, uh, product uh, the one who wish to promote their products or promote their contents so through uh, most yeah mostly through this you'll be able to obtain such people and they you'll be able to uh, work with them in order to bring their ads to your contents okay i hope this answers your question donna so this concludes our session for the day to all our audiences uh, movie keeps conducting webinars each month on some interesting industry topics and also to showcase some of movie's best offerings i would personally request all our audience to keep a look out for our social media channels and the website for the registration link for the upcoming future webinars as a small token of appreciation we would like to give our viewers an informative brochure on user management the link of which should be there in the comments lastly uh, all our users can get a free 14 day trial of uh, our movie one to witness the future of ott streaming you can uh, uh, the link of that is in the description as well so uh, to conclude this uh, this is a sneak peek for our next webinar so short form videos have taken the world by storm and if you are looking for a platform to host and create and launch your short video platform you can join us for our next webinar on movie minis uh, which is on 12th of july and get to know all the things that you require to create a short form video website till then have a great day everyone and thank you for joining us for this webinar